In this video, we're going to go ahead and add a roof to our house. Now I'm going to do this over two parts. The first part we'll look at roof by footprint, and the next part we'll use roof by extrusion. So to add a roof by footprint, we want to make sure we're in our roof floor plan, and come up to the architecture tab, choose roof by footprint. If I went ahead and drew my roof now, the roof would actually be flat with the edge of my house. I want it to overhang a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer. So if I come up here to overhang, I'm going to change this to 600. And over in my draw panel, it's on pick walls, so I need to start picking walls. So if I pick this back one here, you'll notice I have a blue dashed line. That's giving me a preview of where the roof would actually be drawn. So go ahead now and select all my walls create a complete line. Once it's done I can hit the green check mark, go to my 3D view and my roof has been drawn. Now a few things we can do once we've drawn a roof is we can select it, come up here and change the type, for example I want a 125mm roof. I can also come here to edit type in the structure, click edit and change my material. For example in this case I'm going to choose a tile, so select that one there, click OK, and that roof now has my tiles added to it. The other thing we might want to do is change the angles that it's defaulted to. So back in my roof floor plan, I can click on my roof, choose edit footprint, and you'll notice that on all these sides I have the little angle symbol. So if I select some of these now, and start typing in some random angles, click the green check, go to my 3D view again, and see there that it has changed my roof to match those new angles. Now the other roof by footprint I want to show is a flat roof. So I'm going to go ahead and select that roof and delete it now. Go back into my roof floor plans, in the architecture tag, I'm going to choose roof by footprint. Now this is going to be a flat roof, but I still want it to be on an angle, so the water has somewhere to run off. So I'm going to click on this back wall here, because that's going to be where my angle is defined from. On this angle there, I'm going to click on that and change it to something like 7 degrees. And then come up here to define slope and uncheck that. What that'll do then is on these additional walls that I select, it says that I do not want to define a slope on them. And you can see they don't have that angle icon like my back one did. So I'll go ahead and select all the walls. So I've got a complete chain, click the green check mark, go back into my 3D view, and I have my roof. And you'll notice here, when you do roofs, you always need to join the walls. No matter what roof you choose, you'll need to join in these walls. So I can select the wall and do it one at a time, or I can hold tab on my keyboard, which is select the chain of walls, so in this case it selected all the exterior walls, choose attach top base and attach the top roof. Now that's made the front of my house quite large. I might want to come back onto my roof floor plan, click on the roof, choose edit footprint on this back <clears throat> on this back line here. I'm going to click on that and change my angle to something around 3 degrees. Green check mark, go back to 3D you'll see that that's a lot less angle now and it's also changed the height of my walls so they're still attached to the roof but they're a little bit shorter. Now let's say I still want to do some work inside the house at the moment my roof is blocking that so I could use that section box or I can click on the roof choose these little sunglasses down here and say hide element and now I can see inside my house. The other thing I wanted to point out here is you'll notice that my interior walls have not been joined to the roof so they're still at their original height. So you can join those up or wait till we add a ceiling in and the ceiling will close that off. That completes this video on roof by footprint. In the next video we'll have a look at using our roof by extrusion.